eagle eyes and flashing across the sky. Like a swiftest arrow whizzing from a bow. Like a mighty cannonball, he seems to fly. You'll hear about him everywhere you go. The time will come when everyone will know the name of Canyon. No one Peddler camping out like you said. Dr. Terwilliger, the secret tonic of Montezuma. Well, he must be the one that did it. Ricky, are you sure about what you saw? Well, I'm as sure as anything, Uncle Sandy. A man with a gray mustache and glasses carried a little boy to that big box. Did you see the box? Yeah. And then he put the little boy in the box and slammed the lid down and left the boy in the box. Let's ride down there and see what's going on. <laughs> Now, you watch this. Here's how it's done. All right, folks, come on in a little closer. Gather around me, for I bring you one of the wonders of ancient medicine, the secret tonic of Montezuma, guaranteed to prolong life and restore you. One bottle will make you feel like a new man. Two bottles will make you feel like new twins. And it's so pleasant to the taste, it's delicious on flapjacks. <laughs> I think I can pick it up without too much trouble. Why, sure you can, Jake. All you gotta do is just to act like you'd take it yourself, which is something I ain't never done. <laughs> <laughs> Visitors, watch me turn them into customers. I better get back to filling those bottles. I can hear you from there. All right. Howdy, folks. Howdy, and welcome. Howdy. Say, my nephew here says he saw somebody lock a boy in a box. Didn't sound likely to me, but I thought I'd ask. Oh, now, how could you see anything like that, boy? Well, I saw it with my telescope. And there's the box, Uncle Sandy. Well, I guess maybe you got me dead to rights. That was Wilbur you saw. Funny thing about Wilbur, he likes being in that box. I do not, but he keeps putting me in here. Uncle Sandy! Look, mister, open that box in pronto. Uh, uh, now, 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 just a little joke, friend. Just a little joke. Now, wait just a minute. Folks, meet Wilbur, my good friend and trusted partner. Howdy, folks. Let me apologize for Doc's sense of humor. Pretty crude, I calls it. Uncle Sandy, it talks, but... It isn't real. Not real. Take that back, boy, or I'll... I'll give you a punch in the nose. Dr. Ventriloquist, Ricky. Ventriloquist? Yeah, that means he can throw his voice. Oh, I see. Make Wilbur talk some more, Doc. Not until you apologize for saying I'm not real. You... you impudent young jackanapes. <laughs> oh, I sure am sorry, Wilbur. I think you're real, real. <laughs> Don't you try to bite me, dog, or you'll get a mouthful of splinters. It's all right, Rebel. Wilbur's our friend. You see, Wilbur and I have been together so long that I can't get over feeling like he's real myself. I think I understand, Doc. Looks like this today, Doc. It's Sheriff John. Howdy, Ricky. Sandy. Your name, Terwilliger? Yes, sir. And I assure you, he's paid all his license fees. I ain't interested in medicine show tricks. You run this outfit alone? 
Well, yes, along with Wilbur here, and a helper I hired a couple of days ago. His name is Jake Webster. Is he around now? Yeah, right back here. Oh, Jake. Of mine if you had eight legs. Well, then the United States Marshal tipped me off that he was seen with Doc back in Red Gap. Well, that's where I hired him a couple of days ago. But who in the world would ever think that he was a jewel thief? One of the slickest. Yeah, and he's not a bad horse thief either. With the jewels he's got right this minute, he could buy every horse in the territory. Fifty thousand dollars, they say. Gosh, how can he carry that much? Well, jewels come high, Ricky, but they weigh light. Well, I guess I'll get back to town and make out my report. Better get yourself a faster horse, too. He may not be as fast as your horse, but he's going to save you from walking home. Carry him double. And thanks for patching me up, Doc. Doc? He's nothing but an old quack. <laughs> he's a pretty darn good sawbones, Wilbur. Say, Doc, could I come back tomorrow, maybe? How about it, Wilbur? As long as he remembers I'm real. I sure will, Wilbur. All right, see you tomorrow. Au revoir, Miss Ami. What did he say, Doc? Oh, I don't know, some foreign language. How's that again, Wilbur? I said so long, but not goodbye in French. <laughs> why, oh, why do I have to put up with an uneducated pumpkin like you? So long, Doc. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Gee, Doc, a nice bunch of people. I'm glad you didn't try to sell them any of that stuff you make. Uh, just a minute now. Watch it, Wilbur. Watch it, will you? And that Ricky. <laughs> we sure had him fooled at first. like much, but maybe we better see what he's got on him. Use good sense not going for that gun, stranger. Look him over. Now, you boys are wasting your time. We belong to the same lodge. Lodge? What are you talking about? This horse. It's stolen. I told him to get away from the sheriff who happens to want me for robbery. All right, I'll listen, but don't try no tricks. What kind of robbery? Jewels. Bright, shiny jewels. Now, that's what I call a real lodge, brother. Hand them over. Now, now, you're not very smart. If I had them with me, I'd use my gun. Look, boys, I need help. I'm ready to talk a deal. If you want to listen, I'll cut you into a $50,000 pot. Yeah? Get down and spread your card. Gosh, it's a beautiful night, isn't it, Wilbur? Yeah. Just look at all those stars up there. Looks like you could reach right up there and touch them with your hand. Yeah. What's the matter? You getting sleepy? About an hour past your bedtime. Uh, this ought to be real easy. Put on your mask.
Dern you, Wilbur. Making a dern fool out of an old man. Who, me? Here I sit with a hunk of wood and strings on my lap, pretending you're my own kid. Don't feel too bad about it, Doc. You're the only daddy I ever had. You ain't got no other kids. That's right. Oh, you're an old idiot, Dr. Williger. Tie him up so he won't go yelling for help. <laughs> what are you doing with that doll? Doll? <laughs> Meet our new partner, Wilbur. He's going to share that 50000 with us. Let's go. Whoever those rana hands were didn't take my wallet. I made sure of that last night. Not that there's much in it. But, but Doc, they must have wanted something. Yeah, it beats me. Say, wait a minute. The trunk's open. He's gone. They've kidnapped Wilbur. Wilbur's gone. But Doc, maybe you didn't put him to bed. With all the excitement and everything. Oh, no, no, no. I, I remember I had just closed the lid down when they slugged me. But why? Why would anybody want to do a terrible thing like that? That's right, Doc. Why? Who want Wilbur except you? Jake. It could have been Jake. He was always fooling around with Wilbur. He could even make him talk a little bit, too. What would Jake do with Wilbur? I don't know. Maybe go his minutes for himself. I'm going to saddle my horse. Go in the wagon and get my hat and go. <laughs> I don't know the answer, son, but I aim to hunt down Jake and get it. But, Doc, even if you did find Jake and the others, you couldn't handle them alone. Yeah, I know. But I just got to get Wilbur back. Champ and I will go back to the ranch and get Uncle Sandy. Well, all right, only I ain't gonna wait long. You won't have to, Doc. junk all the way to Mexico? Don't call me a hunk of junk, you lump. Didn't know you could work in. Well, I get by, all right. And Wilbur's sure enough going with us. No better place to hide those stones. Besides, if we get in the spot, he's a perfect alibi. 
Alibi? Sure. Anybody stops us, ask too many questions, we tell them we're working them in a carnival. <laughs> Give me that poncho. <laughs> South is through Buzzard Pass. Uh, you know this area, I don't. Lead the way. Uncle Sandy, but you couldn't tell him where to come. Wait till I get my hands on that Jake. Sandy. Howdy, Doc. Howdy. You seen anything of Ricky? Sure, didn't he find you? Find me? He was coming up here to play with Wilbur. That's the last I heard of him. Then the outlaws must have got him along with Wilbur. Outlaws? What are you talking Come about? Come on, we've got to find him. I'll tell you all about it while we're looking. himself. Them. You've been riding them bareback. You can 
sure make him behave for me. No. You told him to run, you can call him back. I won't. Gretzo, I'm giving this mule-headed kid two minutes to change his mind. If he doesn't, you put a bullet right between that stallion's eyes. You... you wouldn't kill him. What good would a dead horse do you? Kid, I'm just naturally mean. If I can't have what I want, I'll make sure nobody else can have it either. I'll try. Champ, come down here. You got a beat on him, Bledsoe? Get him any time you say, Jake. Good. Champ, it's for your own good. It's Champ over in the rock somewhere. Saddle off that pinto. Champ, you better do what they tell you. Oh, kid, now you're making sense. got kind of busted up, but what's this? Look, he did have the diamonds inside of him. Okay, get up. You two. Both you Jaspers, line up over there. Here, what's this? I sent him with a message for you. Well, it's a little late, Rebel, but I'm glad you finally got here. There ought to be a pretty good reward for finding those jewels, Doc. Shucks, he was just lucky. It was me that had him, and Ricky deserved the reward if he hadn't found us. Oh, I shudder to think of it. The only reward I want is, I wish I could throw my voice. And then Rebel and Champ could talk to me. What do you mean? I can talk right now. And I can talk just as good as any dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, goodbye, folks. Bye, Doc. Bye, Doc. See you again. Yeah. Come on, Robert.
eyes and flashing across the sky. Like the sweat this arrow whizzing from a bow. Like a mighty cannonball, he seems to fly. You'll hear about him everywhere you go. The time will come when everyone will know. 